Hello everyone, this is Sidekick Jason doing another behind the scenes feature. Today we are looking at Ellsbridge Station, one of the um, most seen classic stations um, from seasons one through four. It's like one of the only few sets that actually appears in all four seasons. It's kind of ironic that it then doesn't ever appear um, afterwards. So, and it has not appeared since, has not come back in CGI. Um, well, maybe when this video comes out, maybe it will have been rendered in CGI, but I'm not going to get my hopes up on that one. Um, I've always really liked this set because it's just a unique uh, station. You don't have any other station that's particularly like this with a hill. Um, it always fascinated me as a kid that this bridge went over up there to the little house. Um, but I like it. There's so much... There's so much potential with it because you have, you know, two mainline tracks, the Thomas's branch line, and it's just, it's interesting. It's fun being able, there's a lot of things you can do. Lots of characters can come through here and talk and whatnot. Um, as I was remaking it, it's so interesting how in season two, they, to mix things up, they just decided, hey, let's, um, let's flip the set around and we'll show it from the opposite angle back here. And so like episodes like Daisy and uh, Better Late Than Never and The Runaway, like it's strange because you don't even like realize that it's Ellsbridge because it's in the opposite direction, but it's actually the exact same set basically. And uh, that's just really cool how they were able to do that. They were very creative in utilizing those sets back in the day to make it distinct and different and I just really, I miss those days. They were very um, clever in their work when doing all this stuff. Um, whereas now they, well, in the model series, later on they would just basically reuse buildings for the same set, for all well, for different stations and stuff. So it didn't really feel very different. All the stations just kind of merged together. Each one in the classic series I felt like had a distinct thing about it. So, yeah, if you can tell, I just finished remaking the scene from Percy's Promise. So, yeah, that is done. That was the last um, clip I needed to do on this set. So, I am done. I'm taking it down, and I'm putting up the next set, which is going to be a big one. So, it might even be the last set I film on this summer. So, yeah, we will see what happens with that. So... Anyways, I'm going to wrap it up for now, and I will talk to you guys later, probably later today, and show off the, the big set. So, see you later.